how would you describe the German culture? There is uh, a rule for every single thing in Germany. <laughs> like I don't say it hurts, but it, it's like I feel bad that I, I get this. But then. Deswegen würde ich mich hier in Deutschland wohler fühlen als in der Türkei. Curious about German and Berlin culture? In this video, I interviewed residents of Berlin to gain insights into their unique cultural experiences. So let's hear what they have to say. How would you in general describe the German culture or the Berlin culture? I, I come from a very uh, different culture, like Latin culture. We're very friendly, we're used to talk a lot, we're really happy, we dance and stuff. But here it's more like, uh, please stay quiet. Uh, if you go on the train, don't talk too loud. Uh, you have to behave. You're not very, you're not very uh, extroverted here. You need to kind of remain calm and respect each other's space. That's one of the things that I've seen that is very different from our culture. Okay. Yeah. And but uh, yeah. that's it mostly. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then how was it for you to adapt to this new culture? Well, it's basically when you move to another country, I think you have to 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 be ready, right? To, to face that you it's not a it's not your 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 own culture, it's not it's something different that you have to adjust, so you have to be very open in the beginning. Yeah. And also um, just be be brave and and be positive at all times, you know. You have to see okay, what can I learn from this? And the thing is also uh, try to adjust to the culture, right? If you move here, it's for a reason. And maybe it's just to, to learn about the culture to, or to find better opportunities. So that's one of the things you need to focus on. Um, and then try to learn German. If you don't speak German, well, try to learn a little bit as well. Uh, the fact that everybody speaks, like most people in Berlin speak English, doesn't mean that you're not going to learn the language. And it's always good to get a little bit of the culture. And so you also feel familiar with the environment where you're living. Yeah. How would you describe German culture? People here are different as anywhere else. I met people who are into sports or extreme versions of marathons. Uh, I meet people who are into hiking, but there are a lot of people who, who drink a lot, who drink like every day. So yeah, people are, people are different. And also that uh, people can be straightforward sometimes, mm -hmm. uh, especially when uh, giving uh, bad feedback. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it uh, kind of, uh, I don't want to say it hurts, but it, it's like I feel bad that I, I get this. But then, uh, but then yeah, they, I, uh, I realize that they are telling me that the way that I can like as a it's their culture and it's not it doesn't have like bad meaning or they, they don't want to make me uh, angry or yeah they just want to send this message and th this is that how they do it yeah. yeah they just like to instead of talking around it just being straightforward yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah how would you describe the german culture um well i don't really have so many german friends but the little i've been able to observe the German culture is reserved, not so loud, maybe compared to the USA, you know, reserved and maybe based on past experience, the wars that have happened over the years, people tend to be more private, more reserved, you know, yeah, not so loud, not so extravagant. Yeah. And they try to like close the gap between the rich and the poor, everybody a lot of people are in the middle you know and the higher you earn the more tax you have to pay yeah. you know so yeah. yeah basically i think yeah. that's what we've been able to gather over the years mm -hmm. yeah and uh, how would you say in terms of communication style if you speak with the german is there anything uh, uh, different in the way they communicate compared to others uh sometimes they they expect that they don't speak expressly you understand what they're trying to say you know like you have to read between the lines kind okay, of lines. Yeah, yeah you know and then when it is that you're not getting it they then try to explain more you know but a lot of times it's really maybe we're working with schooling is different because you're there to study they try to like go all out to explain and which is which i really like but yeah sometimes you have to read between the lines to figure things out <laughs> yeah okay 
Ähm, deine Herkunft. Bist du, kommen deine Eltern aus Deutschland oder hast du eine andere Herkunft? Also meine Eltern sind ursprünglich aus der Türkei und äh, sind beide hier geboren und aufgewachsen und genau. Okay, beide hier geboren und aufgewachsen. Genau. Okay. Vielleicht hast du so ein bisschen den Vergleich mit der türkischen Kultur. Was würdest du sagen, wenn du die türkische mit der deutschen Kultur vergleichst? Wie würdest du die deutsche Kultur beschreiben? Also die deutsche Kultur würde ich auf jeden Fall so beschreiben, dass ähm, in Deutschland wirklich sehr strikte Regeln herrschen. Egal um, ob im Verkehr, auch in der Schule. Da erkennt man auf jeden Fall, dass man in der, auf, also im Verkehr ist ja auf jeden Fall so, dass es wirklich sehr strenge Regeln gibt. Weshalb es hier in Deutschland auch die Wahrscheinlichkeit eher sinkt, sage ich mal, dass ein Unfall passiert. Und selbst wenn, dass es dann wirklich sehr gut geregelt wird. Im Vergleich mit der Türkei würde ich sagen, dass es in der Türkei natürlich nicht so, ähm, wie würde ich sagen, also es sind die Regeln zwar genauso ähnlich wie in Deutschland, aber die Menschen halten sich nicht so gerne dran. Deswegen ist in der Türkei wirklich sehr unsicher, es auch mit dem Auto unterwegs zu sein oder auch generell mit der Bahn und äh, mit dem Bus. Deswegen würde ich mich hier in Deutschland wohler fühlen als in der Türkei. Okay. Well, I think there are two different cultures. There's the Berlin culture and there's the, the outside Berlin culture. Like if you go to a small town, for example, I've, I've had a chance to, to spend time with people who live in, small, in smaller towns and then like, you know, people know each other and stuff. Like people are more uh, like friendlier, I would say, because they know each other and they, they are more familiar with, with the environment. But in Berlin is, for example, it's so, it's so many people. And then there's like, I think, I don't know how many millions are living here. Um, the culture is totally different. Um, it's, it depends, I would say, in the area where you're living. Um, there are different, um, like, uh, different parts of Berlin where you're going to find this culture and this other culture, like more hippie culture. The other culture is more like reserved and, and more like the high standard culture, I would say. It's different, different uh, parts of the city. But it's, I would describe the city like it's, it's a little bit for everything. Um, there's this part where you, of course, there's general standards where you have to behave and respect each other, like your neighbor, not play music too loud or stuff like that. Yeah. That's sort of the parts that you need to adjust yourself, um, like to the living rules that, uh, that Berlin has. Berlin has a lot of rules, actually. A lot yes. of rules, yes. Yeah. <laughs> also, not just Berlin, it maybe comes from the German culture in general. Yes, there is. I, I, in my opinion, I think there's there's a, a rule for every single thing in Germany. Like for everything, you will ever always find something that will apply. Uh, the rule will apply to. Yeah. Yeah. And what about the Berlin culture? Would you, how would you describe the culture here in Berlin? Would you say it's a bit different from other places in Germany, or how would you describe specifically Berlin culture? Uh, I think it's different uh, because the music they play when they're like they have festivals and uh, the city itself is i think like uh, the clubbing culture is also really big thing and uh, bars and social life is in berlin it's, i think it's different from other cities and in what way would you say it's different here than in other cities um the social life uh, from what I experienced, uh, Berlin is uh, very cool friendly. Uh, like mm -hmm. other friends, other cities are also very cool friendly. And but Berlin is, it has a like I think a special place. Uh, and I went to parade and first time in my life. Um, and yeah, it was the it was the greater thing. And that uh, culture in Berlin is also mal multinational mm -hmm. uh, so it's easy to experience other cultures uh, uh, while still being in Berlin and um, now in terms of Berlin culture yeah would you say that people in Berlin are somewhat different than people in other places of Germany uh, I wouldn't say so different but I should just say maybe a little bit more diluted maybe more relaxed than other places because um, Berlin is more a bit more international, so maybe a lot of people are trying to be more open to people like us who did not grow up here. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Other places you say you would say they are more closed down to foreigners. I I think it actually depends. It actually depends because we've been to places like, for instance, maybe Cologne. There are more there are more immigrants there, so they are even more open than Berlin. Mm -hmm. You know, but there's 
we've also been to places like Rostock. Rostock is Rostock in Germany? Yeah, Rostock yes, is Rostock uh, in... north of Germany. Yes. Yeah. It's also a tourist place. It, they're also more open, but there are also some places that, in fact, people would say, as an immigrant, don't bother to go there, you know, because they're not so recipient of yeah. immigrants. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching until the end of this video. If you enjoyed watching, then please give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section how you experienced German or Berlin culture. And if you want to see more videos about German culture or Dutch, Czech or Spanish culture, as well as other topics about life in different European cities, then please subscribe to my channel. A lot of informative content is coming in the near future. And I hope to see you in the next video.